Today's episode is brought to you by our good friends at Mountain Rose Herbs. The folks at Mountain Rose Herbs are committed to providing us herbalists with high quality, organic and sustainable herbs, spices, essential oils, bulk ingredients, and much more. But quality isn't the only thing they're passionate about. They consider the environmental and social impact of every business decision they make and are dedicated to keeping their business practices sustainable and ethical from start to finish. To Mountain Rose Herbs, people, plants, and planet are more important than profit. And Herb Rally podcast listeners can get 15% off their order at mountainroseherbs.com with coupon code HERBRALLY2210. That's HERBRALLY2210, all one word, HERBRALLY2210. So a huge thanks to Mountain Rose Herbs for sponsoring the podcast. And don't forget to use coupon code HERBRALLY2210 for 15% off your next order. Now on to the show. Enjoy. A little bit of housekeeping before we get into the show. The content in this podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended to cure, diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. This information has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. We are not doctors, nor do we play one on the internet. Please seek advice from a qualified healthcare professional. Okay, MC Calico, take it away. Yeah. Smoky herbal blends. We need some mullin and some kush, my brethren. While listening to Herb Rally podcast again. Herbalism at its finest with Mason Hutchinson. Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Mason Hutchison, and welcome back to Herb Rally, your daily herbal podcast. We come out with new episodes about five days a week, so please tune in often. Our goal for the show is to help you along your herbalist journey no matter what stage you're at. We have over 500 episodes, so feel free to peruse those episodes and you're bound to find something of interest. Uh, Today's episode is another monograph. This one is written by April Coburn. She's a clinical herbalist, and you can learn more about her at nettlejuice.com. I'll be sure to include a link in the show notes. Uh, So let's just get right into it. So Meadowsweet, Philimpendula Omeria by April Coburn. Family, that's the plant family, Rosaceae. Common names are Meadsweet, Dolph, Queen of the Meadow, Bridewort, Lady of the Meadow, the botanical description. Meadowsweet is a perennial plant native to Europe and Western Asia. It has become naturalized in North America. Stems can grow three to six feet tall and are stiff and colored reddish to purple. Leaves are alternate and pinnate with alternating large and small leaflets that are serrated. The top of the leaves are dark green and the undersides are lighter covered in downy hairs. Meadowsweet flowers in midsummer with showy clusters of tiny white flowers that are very sweet smelling. Flowers have five petals and five sepals. The parts used, leaves and flowers harvested when in flower. Taste is bitter, astringent, and sweet. And here's the history. Meadowsweet has a long history of use in Europe where it was often used as a strewing herb in summertime along with other aromatic herbs, to release fragrance when trod upon and hide unpleasant odors. The name meadowsweet was common in the 14th century when it was used in the making of mead, or honey wine. Herbalist John Gerard, writing around 1600, claimed that meadowsweet was useful for treating boils, malaria, burning and itching eyes, the distillate, and to make the heart merry. Maud Grieve, writing in the 1930s, states that it is helpful for suppressed urination, edema, and diarrhea, especially in children. Energetics, cooling and drying, degree of action, third. Properties, analgesic, antacid, anti-inflammatory, stomachic, aromatic, astringent, diuretic, anti-rheumatic, carminative, antiemetic, antiseptic. Some constituents, salicylic acids, silica, flavonoids, tannins, volatile oils, coumarin, iridoid glycosides. Hey everyone, it's Mason. Just a quick interruption from the show to let you know about our 13 herbal freebies. 
If you go to herbrally.com on the navigation bar at the top of the page, you'll see a button that says freebies. Just click there and you'll sign up for our email newsletter. And in exchange, we're offering 13 herbal freebies. That's eBooks, webinars, videos, downloadable audio, and discounts to cool herbal companies. So if you'd like to check out these freebies as well as sign up for our email newsletter, we update you about uh, current events, new monographs, new videos, etc. Just go to herbrally.com and click on the button at the top of the page that simply says freebies. Okay, that's it for me. Now back to the show. Key uses. Meadow sweet can be helpful for upset or sour stomach, pain, inflammation, acid reflux, diarrhea, peptic ulcers, headache with indigestion, arthritis, rheumatism, edema, cellulitis, cystitis, and urinary stones. Clinical uses. Meadowsweet excels as a digestive system normalizer. It is helpful in cases of indigestion, even when there is belching and bloating. David Hoffman writes that Meadowsweet, quote, protects and soothes the mucous membranes of the digestive tract, reducing excess acidity and easing nausea, end quote. It can be used both as an antacid and in cases of over-alkalinity, this can be especially helpful for folks taking commercial antacids, which suppress stomach acid. Because stomach acid plays an important role in digestion and protecting the GI tract from infection, Meadowsweet offers a better alternative for symptom relief. Its astringent properties make it useful for cases of diarrhea, and though large doses may cause nausea, smaller doses are helpful for settling an upset stomach. Meadowsweet is also helpful in healing stomach ulcers. Whereas the isolated or synthetic salicylic acid found in aspirin can cause ulcers, this constituent in the whole plant is buffered by the plant's other properties, making it not only safe but anti-inflammatory and healing to the stomach lining. As a diuretic, Meadowsweet aids in removing gravel in the urine and stimulating suppressed urination. It helps to remove uric acid from the tissues and joints, as well as to remove waste from the body. Its antiseptic properties also make it useful to include in urinary tract infection formulas. Meadowsweet is an anodyne and anti-inflammatory and can be great help in reducing pain and inflammation. However, because the salicylic acid is tied up in whole plant form, a digestion process of six to eight hours is required before relief is felt. But because it helps remove deposits and waste from the joints as well, it can be helpful to take over time for joint inflammation and pain. Externally, Meadowsweet can be used as a wound antiseptic and to promote healing. It may also be helpful to reduce acne and treat boils. Dosage and method of delivery. Regular infusion or standard infusion, up to one cup taken four times a day, tincture, hydrosol, capsules, and personal observations from April. She says, I have had patches of Meadowsweet growing in the garden for many years. It is such a beautiful plant even before it flowers. When it does flower, the clouds of sweetly scented blooms attract so many pollinators. I really do have a hard time harvesting this plant. I don't want to cut down those flowers and take all that beauty out of the garden and away from the insects that love it so much. I have made tea, tincture, and hydrosol with freshly harvested meadowsweet. I have primarily used this plant for digestive complaints. Its taste and energy are so mild that it is easy to take and safe even for children. It combines well with other herbs and formula, but is also lovely and effective all by itself. I was able to witness the power of Meadowsweet a few years ago when I was helping a friend with some digestive complaints. She was suffering from a sour stomach and experienced belching every time she ate anything. On top of this, this elderly woman was so sensitive she could not tolerate any strong herbs or alcohol tinctures. I gave her Meadowsweet as a hydrosol and had her take one tablespoon diluted in water whenever the belching started. Her stomach immediately settled down, giving her great relief. And finally, cautions and considerations. Large doses can cause nausea and vomiting. Avoid using it with children experiencing fevers. And avoid in cases of salicylate sensitivity. So a huge thanks to April Coburn for writing that for Herb Rally. Uh, again, you could find her at nettlejuice.com. Uh, and I'm going to read her bio as well. So April Coburn is a clinical herbalist living and working in southern Chester County, Pennsylvania. She's a graduate of Skyhouse Herb School and an advanced student at the Eclectic School of Herbal Medicine. 
Uh, that's Thomas Easley School. Highly recommend checking that out. April teaches local classes in beginning and advanced herbal medicine making, works one-on-one -on -one with clients, and offers regular herbal medicine content, including medicine making posts and online classes. You can check out her Patreon page, that's called An Herbalist's Journal, at patreon.com slash nettlejuice. And again, one more time, visit her online at nettlejuice.com. Uh, I'll leave a link to all these uh, links in the show notes. So that's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you do like the Herb Rally podcast, please go ahead and give us a rating in Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you could leave a written review, that'd be amazing as well. I always love reading those. And sometimes I share them on the show as well. So thanks so much again, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Herb Rally podcast. If you'd like to hear more from us here at Herb Rally, we now have a text message community, believe it or not. Basically, it's just updates from us. We send about one to seven texts per week, uh, notifying you about new events, videos, courses, podcasts. You get the idea. It's pretty much like our email newsletter, just in text form. So if you'd like to receive text messages from Herb Rally, just text JOIN, that's J-O-I-N, to the number 541-256-2895. Again, that's JOIN to number 541-256-2895. And to stop receiving text, that's easy too. Just text STOP to the same number. It'll opt you out immediately. Okay, thanks again for listening. Have a great rest of your day.